G'day, welcome to Scale Up Adventures. Today I'm down at my local pond and I'm going to try and catch a few tilapia and get rid of a few out of this, uh, this little pond here. Uh, tilapia are a vermin species in southeast Queensland. So if I do catch one, I can't, uh, I can't release it. I've got to like, dispose of it. And I'm just using a little bit of bread, but sometimes, yeah, they're very hard to, to fool these fish. I think they get targeted a fair bit. So if they don't uh, fall for the bread, I might try a little lure soft plastic maybe or a little um little minnow Let's see if i can get a bit of an aggressive bite out of them we'll try bread for a little bit and if that doesn't work yeah we'll uh, change it up to a lure Spat it out. They're so tricky, eh? Hey? At least he had a go at it. He might come back. Okay, all I'm using is just a little size eight or size six worm hook. No sinker, it's a six pound line. Probably go down to four pound because they're so so finicky. Bit of bread and just mold the bread around the hook. This normally works for carp, tilapia, I've got brim doing this you want to try and not expose any of the hook if you can avoid it especially when they're this shy just looks a bit like like a bit of dough I try and find the fish it's hungry but it doesn't look good so far I will try one more time and I'm getting a lure out because this is a uh, this is crazy okay plan B bread wasn't working so I've got a little minnow I've seen a few little fish that look about that size that color swimming around and the tilapia have been chasing them off so this might just trigger a bit of a reaction and let's see how we go try and find one and take it past him Okay, last thing I can try is this little soft plastic. It's a little nymph imitation. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty finesse, pretty natural looking. Put a bit of S factor on it. If that doesn't work, I'm out of here. Just, they're just not biting. No good, nothing. I've tried two different lures, bait. I'd love to come back with some worms, I think. I might come back tomorrow. Maybe a bit early in the morning. They're uh, just not, not at all interested. All right, it's the next day. I'm not giving up. I went and dug some worms up. This has got to work now, surely. All right, I'll sneak up on these fish. See if we can get a, uh, some of these worms right in front of their mouth. Problem is, I'm not going to be able to see the bait. I've had some more rain overnight, so the water's even murkier today. There's one right there. Come on. Oh yeah, he's going for it. Got him. Oh, he done me. Oh, wow, they love worms. No, hook's still there. How quick was that? On oh, worms straight away. All right, let's rebait. I've only got about six worms. I didn't think it was going to really work, so... All right, come on. There's a big one. Right there. Oh, yeah, he's got it. He's got it. Got him. Yes. <laughs> I knew I'm gonna get one of you guys. They don't like bread or lures, but you love worms. 
cast that right in front of his face. Now, he hasn't given me much of a fight, but that's all right. Let's get him in. Here we go. Get that hook out. He's taking that right down, but that's all right. We're not letting him go. Get the hook out though if I can. There we go. Not a big one, not as big as that last guy. There we go, a little tilapia, not a huge one. But he liked those worms, he's got no, no fish in there. Now, like I said before, when fishing with these guys, you can't let them go. So, we've got to um, humanely kill this guy and dispose of him. So we'll chuck him up there, I've got a bag with me. So we'll do that now. But yeah, that's one. I wish I dug up some more worms. Let's see if, okay, let's see if we can catch another one. Number two, there's so many of them in here. It'd be great to clear a few out. Maybe get some natives back in here. It just goes to show yesterday, bread, lures, nothing was working. You don't give up, you try and find another way to catch them. And I thought worms have to work, especially after a bit of rain. Oh, yep, there's a bite. Got one. That's a bit bigger. Off he goes. We'll get over here where we can land him. That's a much better one. Not the greatest fighting fish, but they uh, have a bit of a go. Once you get out of rivers, they're a bit, a bit more feisty. I'm only using very light lines, so. That's another thing I did. I had six pound line yesterday and I've changed it to four pounds. So to see if that made a difference and I'm not sure if it has I think it's more the bait We're definitely after worms so we're gonna land him should get him up on this bank Whoop. All right. get him up here oh he's not that much bigger There we go, another one. A little bit bigger. Get that hook out. They don't have any, there you go, he's only just hooked. Another one to add to the bag. Fantastic. There's gotta be hundreds of them in here though, so I don't know if I'm making much of a difference, but look at that. Now what I'm gonna do is, the fish has spooked a bit in close because I've caught a few of them. I'm gonna put a little Bobby cork and cast it out in the middle. See if there's anyone anyone out there. Got it about two feet under the float. I don't know how deep it is here. I don't think it's very deep. It's not the best cast, but anyway, it's out there in the middle. And just watch that float. There's a few swinging right in front of me now. That flight's moving already. Look, 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 it's about to go. Got him. <laughs> there are so many of these tilapia in here. It's just a matter of finding out what bait they want. Get away from that. And that didn't take long at all. And they're all about that same sort of size, maybe about a kilo. And getting a few of them out of here is not a bad thing at all. <clears throat> Apparently there used to be some natives in this little pond, but uh, no one's seen any for a while. But get ri getting rid of these guys will certainly help. He's just lip, oh, he's just lip hook. He's only a small one. Oh no! Oh. oh, you're kidding me. Bugger! Well, he got his freedom back. I should have pulled him further up the bank. I was thinking he's going to get away. I just didn't do it. All right, we'll get another one. Oh yes. That flight's going. 
Oh. Oh, stimmt, ist dem. Oh, lucky not to lose my float. <laughs> Might have struck a bit too hard there. Got one. It's not very big. What do we got? Oh, don't go around that. Oh, I stuck around that reed. All right, we got him out. Oh, he keeps wanting to go back in there. No, 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 no. Might have a bigger one here. I have loosened my drag because I noticed my, I'm only using a tiny little worm hook and I noticed that it almost got straight in on the last fish. I bent it back. I probably should have changed hooks, but so I've loosened my drag a little bit. I'm tired this guy, eh? this one's going all right. They really quietened down after that one that got away. All right, come on. Get this guy right up the bank so he doesn't get away. Oh no, he's not ready yet. Then he's just lip hooked. There we go. Now I think this is a female fish. Get the hook out. There we go. Another one out of this lake. All right, that's my last bit of worm. Not very well baited up, but anyway, so there we go. Last bait. It's gonna bring it a bit closer. I think the bigger fish are in closer. Oh, geez, I got a bite straight away. Yep, on my last bait. And where's he going? It's only a little one. Straight up. Smallest one of the day. There you go, tiny little tilapia. What do we end up with? Five? I always check their mouths because apparently they um, they keep their babies in their mouths, but um, I haven't seen that yet. So nice little tilapia, good fun, even though they're vermin. Doing the environment a bit of good, getting them out of this local pond, but having fun at the same time. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this episode, catching tilapia in my local pond and trying to figure them out. Yesterday I tried everything with, with bread and lures, for no success, went and dug some fresh worms up from the garden and turned out they did work. In saying that, I have caught tilapia on bread and lures at the same spot, so it does work. Just got to figure out what the fish are feeding on at the time. But good old trusty worms never fail. Thanks for watching everyone. See you on the next episode.